Hi, today I will tell you what was my very first merge request, why I did it and how I did it. So let's get into it. This is it, this is the merge request. This is the very first one. It comes from December 4th, 2018, 6.49 p.m. if you were wondering. It's called made descri description for deck to bin, oct to bin, x to deck, x to bin, mention input number system and it is a merge request to Caligara. Now, if you don't know what Caligara is, it's like the LibreOffice of KDE. It's not very used or maintained, but uh, it, it wasn't used and maintained either on 2018. But I just opened bugs.kd.org. I just browsed and searched for the easiest bug to fix. I, I just wanted 12, even if it was something very, very, very simple, really. Maybe not helpful, but still. And what I found is this bug, which was opened just one month before, uh, if I'm reading that correctly, by Alexandra, saying description for this, do not mention input number system. And my merge request is exactly called that, just to address it. And expected result was like something like the oct to bin function returns a noctal value formatted as a binary number, whereas it, in here it's just the value generic. So what did I do? I just did that. Uh, we can see the changes here. I found these labels and how I did this is through kfind. I just went to the sheets um, repository with all of the code. I knew that application was called like that. So I went to that folder and then I just used kfind to search where the label actually was. And then I just changed the label. The becomes a decimal, the becomes a decimal and so on for all of the affected um, strings. And that was it. That was really simple, simple enough that I actually had just made this title and then said nothing about the patch, like literally nothing. And the reviewer was like, looks good to me. And then rightfully he asked to add the bug report ID, which is this one. This also applies to the new GitLab instance. Whenever you do a merge request that fixes a bug, you do need to mention what bug is, is it fixing in uh, the summary. And then I just did that and the bug was, the bug fix, sorry, was merged. And that was it. And as a bonus, I want to also show the second, the second merge request that I did, which is uh, slightly more interesting. It's still on Caligra because back then I was actually using Caligra. And I, this bug is not, again, a bug that I actually had encountered. And it's this one which was open in 2016. So before that, the patch comes from just a month later, 2019. And uh, the bug is this one. So if you launch Conqueror, and that alone makes you understand how old the software, like Conqueror isn't quite used anymore. At Conqueror, navigate to some website and then press pull down menu at the draw area of the page. And then within the options, you select action print with Caligra words, which makes sense if you want to print a web page and that actually crashed Caligra. Now, I think that such a specific, such a specific bug was not very important, but nonetheless, nonetheless, I tried to fix it. I, I didn't encounter, uh, I tried, um, I managed, sorry, to reproduce the bug and I tried to fix it. Example work in print, uh, yeah, the easiest way to reproduce the bug was just to say Caligar words, print this. And right now, I don't quite remember uh, all of the logic going behind the fix, which was not really simple to do, to be honest. You can see here, there are some changes to C++ code and back then I wasn't really super expert at C++, but still I managed to stop the crash somehow. I'm still wondering how. And then I just proposed the fix. And luckily, luckily, <laughs> now again, my summary of the bug was like, I fixed the bug, that's it. And the first comment was like, can you please describe what we have done and why? <laughs> 
which is what happens to every like patch done by a newcomer that doesn't know about the fact that you actually do have to explain what you're doing. That that happens sometimes. It happened to me. And I was like, sure. And then I explained the whole thing. And then the people kindly, very kindly, and that was very important to me, explained to me why I was doing it completely wrong. And after quite some discussion, actually, I managed to reach a good state a good like situation good enough for it to actually be merged just 20 days later and i was like it seems like it landed please tell me if i screwed up anything i was actually super scared of like disturbing people and i I did kind of screw up something like i didn't add the correct keyword for the bug and i forgot the fixed thing which i still forget about to be honest but um, well uh, i fixed the bug i guess Probably not in a clean way, but still, I did. So what has happened after these two? Now, after these two, I've done another very small change, uh, replacing the word distraction free with full screen. And then from now on, from this point on, I actually started doing some interesting changes. This is the last one I actually show you, I promise. I, I said just the first merge request I did in the title, but the first three are the interesting ones. This comes on October 2019, which is like eight months later. So I had this very long period where I just stayed in the VD chat, tried to understand better how things worked. And finally, finally, after months and months, I was able to build KD Plasma and Dolphin. I had spent months not being able to build anything. So that was a huge success. I had learned at this point that I actually have to write a summary. And uh, this was a patch to change the shadows. shadows, And it was like this. Now, if you know me, <laughs> if you follow this channel, you know that I did an entire video on how to do breeze shadows. And this is not the last time that I redid shadows. Shadows were done here, then they were changed again, I think at least by Marco, and then changed again by me trying to improve on the situation even more. But yeah, my very first patch was about shadows and it wasn't actually so simple. Oh, oops. I, I sh- apparently I had forgotten about the summary again, so David had to tell me, please write what you've changed and why again. Sorry about that. And then there was a good amount of discussion on how to actually do the shadows. And uh, I did a second merge request because this one had to be like done by stra- scratch because I wasn't able to actually uh, pull the rebase on master git stuff. It always gets messy. You can see here the, I think back then latest version of the shadows that I had proposed. And in here, if I click on show holder changes, you can see all of the discussion with all of the proposals. This was one of the proposals I had done. And the particularity was that the shadow is more intense in the center and then kind of dies off to the borders. This version was actually rejected and I had to go back to something normal, which is same shadow all around. And it looked good enough, so eventually, eventually you can see all of the changes eventually eventually this is actually quite long. okay here it was accepted on january 23 which means that this patch was started on october ended on january it took me what is it four months five four months and it wasn't even the last time I, I think i honestly spent like six to seven months just working on KD Plasma shadows. So I hope you like them. I hope you like the shadows. I personally, personally consider this one to be the very first cool patch that I've done. It's not very cool, but it is cool. Like shadows were, in my opinion, very ugly before that patch. So I'm super happy I did it. Currently, I am working on a patch to completely rewrite the panel uh, containment, QML. And uh, if you're interested in that, soon I will publish a devlog video saying all of the things have changed. And spoiler alert, one of the things I have completely rewritten was my old code. And my old code was one of the worst thing in that file. So thanks, Nicolo. 
Also, if you want my channel to grow, I'm trying to improve quality, especially of the camera, trying to buy a new one. So if you want to do a donation through PayPal, all of the donations through PayPal are right now going into a fund to actually buy a new camera. So if you're interested, there, there's a button, like there's a link there. You just type the link. And you can also subscribe, like the videos, like the YouTuber stuff, as usual. I think you get repeated this every day, so you know it. See you tomorrow.